Hi friends, Sherry Eldridge coming to you November 2011 and wishing you a happy Adoption Awareness Month. And by the way, November 19th is Orphan Sunday. It's a Sunday for the fatherless. So I hope that in some way your family and your uh, place of worship are celebrating uh, the way God takes care of the orphan. I'd like to just share something with you from my own perspective as an orphan um, that happened last week in our small group from the church that Bob and I go to. We were sharing, sharing about uh, financial uh, giving to the church and how important it is to tithe and to go above the tithe, tithe if, if you're living in grace and all those good things. But I said, you know, you guys, maybe this is just pride. I don't know. But as an orphan, I have never felt, I have never worried about having enough. And um, everybody just kind of looked at me. And then another gentleman who is also an adoptee looked at me and he said, Sherry, I've been the same way. I have never worried about having enough. I don't even know how much is in my bank account. So isn't that just cool? And I said, I think that is really our inheritance as orphans. Yes, it is awful to be orphaned, but oh, God is so much bigger than that. And in honor of this month and of all the children that are waiting for families, uh, all of those that have scars from uh, wounds and so on, I would just like to read to you the promises that God gives in his word for the orphan, for the fatherless. They are so awesome. And you know, I used to think that God had forgotten me when I hadn't worked through some of my adoption issues. But, oh, that is the furthest thing from the truth. The truth is, fellow adoptees, fellow orphan, fellow foster care child, we are the special object of God's love and care. Do you mind if I just read you a few scriptures that tell about that love? I'll have to put on my glasses to do it, so hang on. Here they are. He does what is necessary to preserve the life of the orphan, Jeremiah 49, 11. He gladdens the orphan's heart with the bounty of providence, um, Deuteronomy 24 to 29. He feeds the orphan from the, quote, sacred portion, Deuteronomy 24, verses 19 to 21. He defends the the cause of the fatherless, giving food and clothing. Uh, that is also Deuteronomy 10, verse 18, and Isaiah 1, 17. Uh, he hears even the faintest cry of the orphan. Um, Exodus 22, verses 22 to 24. He becomes a father to the fatherless. Isn't that just cool? That is Psalm 68, verse 5. He also rescues the orphan when he or she cries for help. God hears always our cries. Um, James 1.27. No, I'm sorry. Job 29.12. He considers helping orphans or caring for orphans an unblemished act of worship. James 1.27. He provides what the orphan is searching for. Love, pity, and mercy. Hosea 14, verse 3. He blesses those who provide for the orphan. Deuteronomy 14, 29. He has a unique plan for the orphan in history. Esther 2, 15. He strongly warns judges who issue unrighteous decrees and the magistrates who cause oppression, oppressive decisions against the orphan. Isaiah 10.2 and Malachi 3.5. That makes me think about all the sealed records of adoptees that can't get their original birth certificates. He is pleased when nations and people treat the orphan justly. He will draw an eye and be a swift witness against oppressors of the fatherless. And that's from Isaiah 10.2. And the last one is, he commands others not to remove, quote, the ancient boundary stone 
uh, or encroach on the fields of the fatherless. And that's Proverbs 23.10. And I can say to you, as an orphan, I know what it feels like to be an orphan, but I also know the unspoken way that God gives a deep, deep security to the heart of the orphan, knowing that without a doubt, we will always, always have what we need. I hope you have a great uh, time of raising adoption awareness this month. I hope you're out there doing things at libraries and schools and churches. And um, I hope you're doing something special as a family also. And uh, so thanks for tuning in. And I will uh, put out another video on this blog or on this new newsletter uh, via video next month. Hope you're doing well. Thanks a lot.